everybody, we are releasing the second edition of our Claudia Amber ukulele book. Therefore, I'm going back and reshooting all these videos. Some of the videos are seven, eight years old now, um, and they might have been good performance videos, but didn't serve uh, educationally like we wanted. So we're here to do it over again. I uh, hope you enjoy these. Uh, so, claw hammer ukulele, what are we talking about? Well, it's a way to play our ukulele that copies a banjo style. On the five string banjo, um, there's a little short string up here, a fifth string that's high pitched. It's a lot like our high fourth string on the ukulele. So, you know, you have to play a uke that's got a high fourth string for, for it to sound right. So, um, and it's not a method to just strum chords like most of our other things we do. It's a way to play melodies that have a rhythm to it. It comes from, um, you know, the fiddle tune music of the Appalachian Mountains in the U.S. So, uh, what are we doing? Well, to begin with, you have to take your hand and fold it over like this. And the motion we use towards our instrument is like knocking on a door. Okay? Some old timers call it rapping or knocking the banjo because of that. And instead of like strumming up and down like in normal ukulele stuff, it's really more in and out towards the instrument. So uh, this part of my first finger is going to play the melody. It's going to brush um, some strings for a rhythmic thing. And then my thumb plays the fourth string. So let me play just a little bit quickly and slowly and then I'll, we'll talk about how that all works. sideways and a little closer. So yeah, your, your finger, your hand is going towards your instrument and as you go towards one of those strings, that's how you get the melody note out. So, the order that it goes in usually is a melody note, followed by brushing a few of the strings, and then your thumb plays the fourth string. And we say that as tock, tick, uh, tock, tick, uh, tock, tick. Uh. So the tock is just playing one string as a melody note. For right now, let's just do the first string. You know, I'm, I'm not plucking like this, and I'm not flicking like that. I'm really like knocking towards my instrument. Try it on some other strings. This is the primary motion. If you can't do this yet, pause the video. <laughs> we can't go on until you can make a noise this way, really knocking towards your instrument. I'll show you up close again. First string, second string, third string. Now, very important, notice where my thumb is hanging out. Your thumb has to live around the fourth string because it has to play it. If you're bringing your thumb down, right down here to like help your finger out, it's going to be uh, working too hard. You've got to leave your thumb around this area so that at, when, it, when it's its turn to play, it's right there ready to go. So when I'm playing my melody notes, look where my thumb is after I play the note. It's ready to play that fourth string. You have to get in that habit right now or it's going to be really difficult later. So that's the talk in the talk ticka. It's just a melody note, just one string at a time with this motion. Then you make the same motion, but instead of just hitting one string, you're gonna brush first, second, and maybe third strings, two or three strings, it's up to you. You're gonna brush them. So see that looks like, kinda like the same motion as the talk, the melody note, but we're getting a brush in there. And look where my thumb is after it brushes. Very important. My thumb is near the fourth string, ready to play. And the last thing that happens is that you take your hand away to do the next thing, and your thumb hits that fourth string. So you can just practice right now, brush, thumb, brush, thumb, if you like, or you can play note, thumb, note, thumb, note, thumb as practice. It's just really important that your thumb is near the fourth string. If you're doing this, that's too many motions. It needs to be like in and out, 
brush, thumb, brush, thumb. Not this. That's twice too much work. So when we put it in order, that tock, tick, uh, tock, tick, uh, it's the note, then brush, thumb, note, brush, thumb. If I just do for my melody note right now, the open first string, it sounds like this. So I'm hitting the melody note, then I'm taking my hand away and brushing, then playing the thumb. If you like, you can practice hitting the second string as the melody note. Uh, third string. So, tock, tick, uh, try it with me, uh, the note, then a brush thumb. Second string, melody note, or third string. A couple uh, traps that people fall into is flicking their fingers outwards too much, or picking upwards like this, like your finger picking. We don't do either of those. It really is knocking towards the instrument to get that melody note out. Another mistake people make is that they want to see their fingers, so they move their thumb like this. And then once your thumb's like this, it's too far away from the instrument. So you gotta leave the thumb hanging around here. Don't bring your thumb down to touch your finger down here for stability yet. We wanna leave the thumb over here for now. Yeah, and you just gotta get that beat going, the tock, tick, uh, tock, tick, uh, nice and slow so that we can start working on the songs on the next page. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, joining me and we're gonna keep going with Claw Hammer Ukulele. Uh, go to the next video, thanks.